guys, look at the llamas. <gasps> Good morning, sir. <laughs> Any more? I genuinely don't think I've ever put myself looking worse on my YouTube in my life. Morning, lads. Hello. Luke. Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing it really well. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a very, very exciting vlog for you all. Well, it's exciting for us. I think it should be exciting for the people too. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we are heading to South Wales. We're gonna do a weekend road trip. I feel like we did so many of these last year, for those of you who've been watching for a while. And we're doing one again. We randomly decided to book a um, trip to South Wales. We've never been before. Have you been to South Wales before? No, been to Wales, really so I haven't Cardiff, been. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be driving through Cardiff. For those of you who don't aren't from the UK, um, South Wales is well, it's Wales, but South. Um, it's it's meant to be really, really beautiful. We've been very, very kindly loaned a car from Peugeot. I'm going to be showing you the car. It's absolutely stunning once we arrive. Um, I might do a little bit of, Zara's going to be doing some filming and bits and bobs while we're driving, but it's stunning. It's the new Peugeot 508, and we've got it in the GT line, which is just incredible. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole montage, so you're going to see the car. Any car fanatics out there, it's amazing. I've been loaned it for a week, and I've been driving it throughout London so far, and it's just... It's a dream. I do currently have a car, but I kind of wish I had this one now. <laughs> um, I love it. But yeah, we're going to be driving to Wales. We're going to be doing loads of little car montage bits on the way. Zara's got a heated seat on. It's got a heated seat Can and I a massage. Can I just something about Wales? And this is like God's honest truth. Uh -huh. So when I went to Wales years ago, I was... Oh, hang on. No, I went to get my passport. I was absolutely convinced you needed a passport to, to get, get to over Wales. the bridge. To the extent just then I was like, shit, we haven't got our passports. <laughs> Well, I can guarantee Wales is in the United Kingdom, so we don't need one. I know, but it does get... I mean, I'm flying to Edinburgh soon, and I will need a passport, but that's a whole different no, story. No, you don't. You just need ID. To prove who you are who you are, but so yes, yeah, it's easy to take a driving license, but anyway. We're going to drive to Aldi, get some snacks, because we're staying in an Airbnb, so we're going to get some pizzas and bits and bobs, and then um, I'll catch you guys when we're on our way. I'm so excited! So we have came to Aldi to get some supplies for our Airbnb. Hey, we don't actually know... We live in Aldi. I oh, know, it's literally Ronaldo. Ronaldo again, come from Aldi. But um, yeah, we're getting some supplies. Maybe get another bottle of wine. Oh, yeah, Just got a bottle of Prosecco. Like yeah. Bottle of wine, some pizzas, that kind of jazz. A quality street advent calendar for the night. <laughs> we're looking at all of the Christmas stuff and it's getting us so excited. We're not going to get some mince pies, but look how good they look and we've got the stolen pieces. <gasps> we do. We still do have a couple of weeks though, it's fine. We've got all the essentials. We're going to pay for these, pop them in the car and get on the road. Sorry to update the vlog, so you can just do it. People um, are looking in the car. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we're on the motorway. It took us out a really weird route of London, but we're on the motorway. Currently in roadworks, because that's just a given. Oh, they are uh, actually working. Yeah, they are. <laughs> um, we are going to arrive at our Airbnb in Wales at 2 o'clock, and it's currently 11 a.m., so we've only got three hours left for you, which is a dream. I feel How long like have we been driving for? We an south. hour? Yeah, an hour and a bit, an hour and 20. Um, we make a really good time. It's actually a lovely drive, and this car is a dream to drive. I'm gonna get let I'm gonna let Zara drive it as well because she's insured on it too. So I'm gonna get some clips of her giving it a call. Wow. But um, yeah, we're gonna stop at a petrol station, get some fuel, get a coffee, get some snacks. Um, More snacks. Well, they were just dinner snacks, weren't okay, they? Yeah, we can didn't eat really the Percy get, pigs though. Yeah, didn't think about that, did we? We actually get like a sandwich or something for lunch. But yeah, that's the plan. Back. Yeah, so then push it forward. I pushed it forward. Yeah, no, the, the actual, the longer bit that's next to it. What you've got to do is the arm, where the arm, where it normally would be, there's this bit here. The bit that goes up. And do you put that forward or back? Well, however you want it. Well, mine's not moving. It is, Zara. <laughs> Any more? I don't know. Maybe that's, that's as much as it goes. Oh my god. So Zara's just doing a little lap around the car. Uh, so calm me down. Yes, it has oomph. It does. 
nice and slow, and then brake with your right, your I did. yeah, right foot. And exactly. also, just to clarify, what does? Yes, it's really fun, isn't it? I really like it. Excellent. I really want us to have yes. Now, Zara's had the brilliant idea because we do both own cars. Zara's had one obviously for many, many years. Uh, I recently got one. The idea now that we both sell our cars and get a joint communal car. Okay. No, it actually makes sense though it because we always go all. Pretty much just about to say we go to the gym together. Nine times out of ten, we're ever going to be driving, we drive together. You need the car in the day, Mid but week. I don't need it because I'm at work. Exactly. And whenever we're going to do something the weekend, it'd be like, oh yeah, you do. It's fine. The only time I think it would be a little bit tricky is if it came to like Christmas. But then. That's very true. in a little place called Narbus and it's a lovely little town we've been recommended this by our Airbnb horse because their room isn't ready yet so um yeah looks very quaint we can stop off and maybe get a little beverage so we made it well done you Thanks. do you know what I'm really impressed look I can drive well, no of course I've you can look more than you have in life you haven't you have because you went like a year without a car so but I passed my test before. You made it. <laughs> well, one of a Barney in the Welsh car park. Um, yes, we've arrived at a place, Beth. Narbeth, that's the one. Um, we are about, I'd say, 15 minutes from where we're going to be staying. So we're going to have a look around. It's raining, which is an ideal, but there you go. We've got a new brolly. Um, yeah, oh, actually, someone's coming out now. It'd be mm. all right. And um, we'll have a, little, have a little drink, have a little wander around, and then um, next up to the Airbnb. Car. Yeah, it's actually that shadow. So we made it to the llama farm where we're staying at. We're staying in the Pembrokeshire area. Zara actually found this on Airbnb. And honestly, I'm obsessed. I'll give you a full tour, but first. Look at that. Zara, go, 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 go. <laughs> Guys, look at the llamas. <gasps> oh my God. This is just too much. Look at them. Hey guys. He's like, what? <laughs> So this is the cabin we've got. This is our little kitchen area. How amazing is that? They're fully functioning sink. There's a gas cooker. Little side bits. Got coffee and tea going on. Pots and pans. And then a little area here. And then look at this. Got a whole fully functional log burner. What a dream. And then we've got our little dining area here. And then this is the bedroom. What a dream. Honestly, I'm obsessed. Merthin. Welsh for Merlin. Mm. Yeyun, Tilo, Zazu and Albi and then the pigs are Boris and Willem, two geese, we were calling them ducks to him. Geese! <laughs> um, Gertrude and Gustava, eight formerly feral cats, a parrot, a tortoise and guinea pigs. Wow. It's a free range hedgehog family who you can see after dark. Guys, I think we've actually struck really, really lucky with this. I'm truly shook. There is absolutely no reason why we booked this trip. We just did it because, oh. Sorry, you can wash the dishes and look at the llamas. Hey! Sometimes when you live in London, it's just nice to have a complete detox of city life and truly, I mean, look, you can wash your dishes and look at the llamas. This is honestly too good, guys. We've got to go outside and get our little bits from the car, but this is truly just something else. So we brought some goodies along with us from home. Nice. I'll show you everything we got. So we got two bags of kettle chips because they're delicious. I also brought some lint chocolate from um, when I went shopping the other day. This is from um, our friend Sherry. It's a bottle of Prosecco. It's a birthday gift to Zara, so that's very nice. If you're watching the Sherry, thank you. Um, and then we also bought a second bottle of wine just because in case this doesn't last us the evening. And then we also nipped into Audi just to get some actual like food food. And we got this freezer bag and I think they'll also be frozen inside. Yeah, spot on. Oh, we went into M&S and got some um, tea cake mini bites. These were two for four pounds. 
Um, and some Millionaire's Mini Bites. Zara said these are absolutely delicious, so I'm very excited about those. Um, we got two pizzas, one of them a baked sourdough chicken and chorizo, and then the other a barbecue pulled pork flatbread pizza. Um, and there's a fully operational oven here, which is absolutely brilliant. We got some bananas for maybe in the morning for breakfast. We got some onion and garlic dip for the crisps. So we brought some milk, but we've just looked in the fridge and there's some fresh milk because they have cows here. So I was like, is that the milk from the cows? I was like, yes it is. So um, yeah, we've got two lots of milk. It's brilliant. There's also some tea and coffees here too, which is really lovely. Oh, Zara, there's hot chocolate. Stop it. There's two hot chocolate sachets. <gasps> oh, Galaxy and Cadbury's. <gasps> That's Galaxy lovely. Nice teas too. Yeah. We bought a garlic and uh, garlic baguette because Zara. And um, we also got some hog roast sausage rolls. And that's everything that we got. So we're going to have a right little feast this evening. As you can tell, we actually haven't got a TV, which is an absolute blessing. That was a whole idea of coming away. So we want to completely relax. So we brought, I brought my laptop in case we want to watch something. But we've got some card games. It's just absolutely amazing. We've just got a cosy setup going on. Fire's rare and crisps, Prosecco. Sausage rolls and a dip. I am obsessed. We're chilling in front of the log fire. We've just got it on over there. I put all my hoodie and comfy clothes on. Um, and Zora brought along some playing cards. These are cards she bought in Santorini with her dad. I haven't played playing cards in years. With such a family thing. We usually play it at like Christmas times. Yes. That was when we do cards. Um, so we've been playing some 21. For those of you who know any card game, 21. Um, and then I'm going to teach Zora how to jot. Sorry, and who's Jara? I was about to say, I'm going to teach Jara how to play Zach's twos and eights. Okay. I'm going to teach Zara how to play Jack's twos and eights. If you know what Jack's twos and eights is, let me know in the comments down below. But genuinely, I love Cogging. Okay. So this is a six. The idea is you get rid of all of your cards. Yeah. Something's wrong, I waited up, wounds on my feet. Where will you be? Flickering from memory. Perfect. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. Longing to be seen. So come and hide. Hide with me. Hide with me. Oh. <laughs> and I have to pick up two as well. I well, know, because now we're done. Exactly. You won. How good? I'm so good at card games. Sarah won! And it only took six minutes. That's pretty good. I have just laid in that bed. And it is like someone is blowing a leaf blower on me with ice cold air. Right, okay, so what you need to remember is that there's no log burner in there. No. Sarah's just asked, do you think we could drag the bed into the living room? <laughs> no. We so I so I'm I'm sorry to anyone out there who's this is the most sexist thing. I am a warm blooded individual. That's not a sexist thing. Well, it's stereotypically males are more warm-blooded. What I'm saying is, I project heat in my sleep. A lot of it. Once we close that door, and the curtains, which they are now closed... Well, not the lock button, though. Well, no, I'm not aware of that. But what I'm saying is, if I go to bed in this, which I'm probably going to, hoodie and some tracky bottoms, or some... <laughs> um, I pack some really cosy, fluffy ones, I will be warm. Yeah, no. It's seven degrees. And it's going to get to four degrees and three degrees during the night. That's still fine. I genuinely don't think I've ever put myself looking worse on my YouTube in my life. We're doing face masks. It's honest. It is honest. So Zara's very kindly um, donated one of her face masks because she said, I got these for us for the weekend. So she's got one on. <laughs> now I've got one on. And we're going to watch a Christmas film because are we actually 22? We've came to a no, log cabin. No, but in fairness, as soon as December hits, yeah, we're going to you know be... what? This is our... From head to toe, I can confirm, Bavarian beer, hot dog, Bavarian beer. Winter we, Wonderland. We were speaking about this and how, essentially, from this weekend onwards, things are just mad. Like, we are doing something every single weekend. Midweeks are crazy. Everything's just nuts. <sighs> Just in a like good way though. This is well needed. This is our prep and pamper. It's one night and we are just fully reveling in it. So I'll catch you guys once we've finished watching Elf. Are you going to watch Hide with me. Come and hide. Oh, good 
Morning everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning. Ooh, we slept so well, I mean I slept really well. It's got a little bit chilly in the um, <laughs> in the cabin this morning. So we put the cat on, I'm trying to get the fire going. Basically drawn as much air as I can into it because we are cold. I believe this is how we want to start every morning. Morning lads. Hello. If I get spat, spat out, I will drop your camera. <laughs> Luke. We do spit Zara. Oh, but he sounds angry. Oh, yeah. Do they run? Yeah. <gasps> oh my God, I am that llama. Just here for a snuggle. Oh, <gasps> Luke, they cuddle. Well, they oh, they're gonna have intercourse. Good morning, sir. Yeah, I'll try and get that off him, but it just doesn't seem to bother him really. I've just made myself a cup of tea, and we're gonna go see the llamas. Um, I'm talking really quietly because they've obviously got really good hearing, and they don't like to be scared. But it's just silence here, just in the background. Come say hi to this guy. So lovely. Okay, so we are back in the car now. We've just said goodbye to our Airbnb host, Matt. Um, he said if any of you guys do want to check out this Airbnb where we've been staying and you're based in the UK, please do. I'm going to be linking it in the description down below. But we're back in the car now. We're nice and toasty. Zaris has been helping me get some footage for Instagram about the car. I'm going to give you a quick tour while we're inside. If you want to see the full specs of the car, head over to my Instagram, at LukeCatlow, and you see a video and a photo of us trying to get something cool of the car. But um, yes, let me turn the blowers down. I'm not like, you're like, no! <laughs> just so it doesn't interrupt the audio a little bit. We'll be really back on it. So this, oh, there we are. So this is the interior of the car. So this is the Peugeot 508, and it is, and it's the GT line. Genuinely, I don't think I've ever driven a car that is this comfortable, this spacious. It's got everything you could possibly need. One really cool feature, I mean, I love the absolute necessity of having just hidden features, but Zara pointed out, if you can see underneath here, there's actually a space for your phone and it wirelessly charges it. How clever is that? So it charges it while it's underneath. And then I really also like the internal system here. So these are like piano keys, which I think is really, really nice. All easily accessible too. You've got full built-in sat-nav and you've got controls of music, which is just obviously brilliant. Dual climate control because Zara needs high. Zara's on high, I'm on 24, which is actually a little bit hot for me, so I'm gonna turn that down. Um, you've also got heated seats, which again, Zara being as cold as she is, is a dream. <laughs> and there's also, and there's also massage and seats, which is brilliant. So you can pop that on if you're doing any long motorway driving. Oh, that was out of focus shit. There's also seat massages too, so you can pop that on, and then it comes up on here, which driver massage you want. So you can do, um, you can get cat paw wave. Um, what else have we got? Stretch lumbar or shoulders, and you can have the intensity as well. So I'm going to put it around. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to put it around medium, which is brilliant. So yeah, this is the car. I'm going to be showing you the outside of it as well. If you want to check it out, again, I'm going to be linking this down below. It is absolutely amazing. We've got it in the automatic, but you can get it in a manual. And also you can pop this into manual mode, which has got the selection of the flappy paddles here. You want it to be a little bit more of an immersive driving experience, but genuinely, I'm not just saying this. It's been the most comfortable relaxing car to drive in. I've currently got the seat massages on, which is a dream. Um, yeah, I love it. If I could have this car, I would. It's very kindly been loaned by Peugeot, as I've said. Um, but yeah, let's drive back to London. I don't want to go. We literally just said we feel so relaxed, so calm. And now so snug. Yeah. I think we should go back in the summer. Me too. That's what the guy did just say. Matt was really lovely. He said, if you come back in the summer, it's like, what is it, like a flurry of wildlife. There's it's all sorts. Yeah, it's like, just a complete different trip. Be nice to come again and see what's around here more because I feel like there must be more. And Definitely. Do you like the llama track? Yeah, that would be fun. Um, I'd say maybe we could do two days. We just did a day because obviously Zara's working on Fridays, but if Zara took a Friday off work, we could do Friday, Saturday, and drive back Sunday, which is a dream. Right, should we go? Yeah. Let's go. So we've come for a roast dinner before we hit the road. How amazing does this look? Cheers. 
yeah. literally so good. Just under tradition. And I got the fire one as well. It must have known Zara was called. <laughs> it's very bright. Ooh. So me and Zara just finished up our roast dinner. We went to a place called the Bush Inn. And it's just on the outside of where we were sitting in Wales. Um, I'll link that down below as well. Delicious roast dinner if anyone wants to come. Now we're getting back in the car and driving back to London. <laughs>